rights. I like some of this too. The auditorium could hold 4,000 dancers. And they would dance every <laughs> night. Oh my gosh. This is it. What the fuck was so like. it was all graphite. Well, there's graphite, and then there was a thermal shield, and then there was a biological shield to protect the earth. On those panels. 4,000. No, 2,000 and four. 2,000 and four. What? High trip and low trip. Oh, yes. Well, true. Yes. <laughs> but you <laughs> only go one way or the other. <laughs> well, why don't you? The top, then the people in the front would go up and uh, take the cap off the tube there, and they push in new fuel while pushing out the old fuel. And that would come down through the chute and come down uh, in the water below here. And so the operators would be over there by the gates you see with a 20 foot. It, it's just a tremendous effort to restore, to hold this reactor for future generations and tell the story of the reactor and tell the story of the people that worked here and what it meant to this country. So it's very important. This machine changed the world. It changed the lives of every one of us standing here today. It changed the global balance of power for all the years since then. It changed science, energy, physics, medicine, environmental science, the way nations conduct peace and war, and even the way we live our everyday lives. So why do we come here today to honor B Reactor? We come because we have to. We're driven to it. It's in our blood and our genes as humans to want to and to need to come to places where significant things happened. We gather to acknowledge the significant history that unfolded at this site. We gather too in honor of the architects of that history. This landmark designation is the highest recognition accorded by our nation to historic properties. Just 3% of sites that are on the historic registry actually make it to landmark status. So let's give a round of applause. Congratulations. <laughs> These landmarks encompass places where events of national significance occurred. This site helped shape this nation. I'd like to ask Jeffrey Kupfer to join me up here to unveil the landmark plaque. Jeffrey? You go one, two, three. One, two, three. As you all know, this reactor is currently open only certain times a year for public and media tours. And the 2,000 spaces that are allotted are snapped up within a few hours every time that they are advertised. We at the department are very committed to preserving the significance of the reactor and to making it more accessible. We want to ensure that as many Americans as possible have the opportunity to learn about this important piece of our history. And as such, the department is committing today to a new public access program. Beginning next March, families will be able to visit and tour the B Reactor on a drive-up basis without pre-registering, and the tours will be available on a much more frequent schedule.